our editorial comment for tonight deals with President Lungu and the fake photos he's been posting on his Facebook page. In the past few months, President Lungu's Facebook page has been publishing fake photos showing progress of developmental projects under the Patriotic Fund government when in fact the images were from other countries downloaded from the internet. On March 3rd, 2020, President Lungu posted a photograph of workers in a sugarcane field with the caption that read, I strongly believe the private sector plays an important role in employment creation and driving innovation and inclusive development to the private sector. Join me as we jointly continue to work hard to positively transform Zambia now and for the generations to come, hashtag building Zambia together. But according to facts that we gathered, the image was not from Zambia, but from India published by a news outlet called Swarajia in November 2018. On July 4th, 2020, yet again, President Lungu posted a modernized fish farm with a caption seen in this picture. Facts, however, reveals that this picture, which was put on President Edgar Chagwalungu's page on 4th July, was again merely downloaded from the internet by himself, or should we say his media team. The image originated from Israel, and it first surfaced on the internet on December 26, 2010. It was first posted by Israel 21C, an American online magazine focused on technological and scientific advances made by Israel researchers. The picture was lifted from an article titled Raising Fish in a Desert. Fact-checking results further revealed that this image was uploaded on 30th August 2018 by Iban Aquafish Solutions and Consultants Limited in Shanghai, China. Much recently, it was reposted on 2nd July 2020 by the same page Iban in a public group called University of Guyana, Faculty of Agriculture and Forestry, as an advert to advertise fish farming consultancy. On Tuesday, 7th July 2020, President Lungu posted photographs of road rehabilitation works, claiming there were new images of ongoing road works on the Kafio Mazabuka Road in Southern Province, with the caption, I'm impressed with the progress report on the Kafio Mazabuka Road earmarked for completion by October 2020. My government was called all sorts of names because this road has been in deplorable state for many years. We listened and committed to work on it, President Lungu stated. But the photo President Lungu used was an old, reused image which had been published on various publications in Nigeria, Malawi, and United States of America from as far back as 2017. After the images were proved false, President Lungu removed them and issued a correction saying the image was erroneously attached. In our opinion, we would like to agree with former press aide to fourth Republican president, Dixon Jerry, when he commented that we need to respect the office of the president and maintain the required decorum. Using someone else's picture from another country is simply unforgivable, and we can't agree more with this. But above and beyond this act, but above and beyond, this act will have a long-lasting impact in people believing what government is doing, even when it's true will be considered as beans. As they say, the first impression is the lasting impression. We therefore appeal to President Lungu to fix this mess as soon as now. This was our editorial comment for tonight.